So anyway, we're here today with a 2019 Volkswagen Arteon 2.0 Turbo SEL Premium R-Line 4 Motion. Say that five times real fast, go ahead. I did earlier, okay. I got it tight. <laughs> so, I'm Rob. And I'm Nathan. And we are Two, two Guys in a ride. ride. We're gonna take a look at this beautiful 2019 Arteon. I'm not saying the whole thing this time. <laughs> uh, you'll see it in the description. You'll see it and, and you do know the vehicle, but this is the top line trim. Uh, as always, I'm gonna take you for a tour of the outside and uh, talk about its styling, its specs, its horsepower, its wheelbase, turning circle, you name it. And then Nathan, I I'm gonna take you on the inside. And we're gonna all. look at where the real stuff is. Yeah, whatever. I mean, it's got a radio, it's got air conditioning. <laughs> That's all he cares yeah, about. Yeah, Nathan's going to show you all no, that no. later. It's got a few more uh, tricks up its sleeve than that. Yep, and we've also taken it for a ride, and we're going to show you that as well. And actually, in the video, uh, the ride will be first, then the uh, outside, my part, because, you know, I, I, I'm first. Uh, and then Nathan <laughs> will bring up the rear uh, with the technology and the tour of the inside. So come on along. Nathan, what do you say? Hey, before oh, we, before before you we go... We, we want to remind <laughs> you yes, to click Beyonce. on the subscribe button down here oh. <laughs> and uh, also like us on Facebook that's, and Twitter. Follow us no, on that's Twitter. The bell. That's the bell. Hit the bell to, to, so you get notifications uh, from YouTube. <laughs> um, and then cross your arms like this and do a little jig. The best thing is, though, click on that red subscribe button. Help us out, folks. If you like what you see, follow us. Yes. If you subscribe, hit that bell so you get notification when we post videos. And, uh, you know, give us some comments below as well. Give us some thumbs up, and we'll, we'll have fun doing this and keep showing you more and more cars. We would also like to thank uh, Volkswagen of Mankato. Yep. Uh, for loading us this beautiful uh, 2019 Arteon today. So thanks to the folks out there. Okay, now can we? Now we can go have some fun. All right, how about it? Let's go for a ride. Let's go for a ride. Come on, J Lo. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Beyonce? I'm here. Oh. <laughs> All right, so. First yeah. impressions. Here we go. First, first impressions. So if you've never uh, taken a Volkswagen Arteon out for a test drive, welcome to our test drive. Yeah, that was I'm, a fast takeoff there, Nathan. <laughs> I'm, I'm making Rob lose the uh, stuff off the dashboard. Lose my there. mind. <laughs> <laughs> that was gone ages ago. I don't think there's anything left there. Uh, Boy, you know, um, so we, we really haven't been in the car to review the inside of it. Um, all we've done is drive out here to do a little 0 to 60. Um, but I'll tell you what, first of all, the air conditioner works. Yeah. R it's really cold in here. Um, but the, uh, the, the the roominess is really nice. So it's got 12-way power seats, uh, and uh, so plenty of ways to adjust yourself. I am perfectly comfortable. Yeah, it's it's. But it's comfortable. I mean, lots lots of lots of headroom. We got the, uh, oh, the yeah. sunroof open here, and uh, but I mean, I'm not anywhere close to touching. I got my cap on. I got plenty of leg room here. Haven't sat in the back yet, um, but um, looking just at kind of the specs that VW put out. This has got a lot of rear leg room. So I think we're gonna see that when we uh, hop in the back here in the inside review. Um, boy, it's, it's, it's quiet. Um, there's some road noise a little bit here and there with uh, the strips that we're driving over. But that's, it, that's more the bad roads than the car. Yeah, that's, that's I mean, I like I like the soft touch materials that are pretty much everywhere. Um, I like I like the steering wheel. I'm, I, I, I'm not used to that flattened out bottom of the steering wheel. Oh, okay. That's like a sport. But I don't mind it. I mean, I know some people. I think you really like it, but yep, yep. I just I've never really had you know a most flat of my, bottom. most of my car. <laughs> I'm not I'm not going anywhere with that comment. I'm just marching on. The uh, 
I was going to say, most of my cars don't even have a uh, steering wheel on them. <laughs> so, so I haven't. <laughs> they don't like, have a steering wheel is, at all? No. Okay. No. <laughs> it's, it's like it's just a you know push power. You push your foot one way and you go that way. <laughs> okay. Well, it's it's really precise on the steering. I'm going to get Nathan Woozy <laughs> here. We're going to go lazy like, as is. <laughs> But you know, he lets me do this this part every single time. He never takes it. I always no. get to do the steering. It's like a roller coaster like, ride. But it's really cool. It's very responsive. I like that. And the acceleration is good. However, on initial takeoff, there is quite a bit of turbo lag. Mm -hmm. And I'm surprised. So more and more cars have figured out a way to mitigate that. But it's very prevalent here. And we're talking, I think this is, um, well, this is a two liter, uh, 16 valve turbo. Uh, I'll talk, tell you about the specs later, but I think it's 258 horses, two, somewhere in there. Yeah. Or, so it's, it's really nice. It does kick in and it does move this vehicle pretty well. Uh, I have the curb weight. I don't know it off the top of my head. I'll give you that a little bit later. Um, but there is quite a bit of turbo lag and I'm, I'm curious about that. And I felt the same thing too. It's, My favorite part's coming up. Oh, Lord. Brace, <laughs> brace, brace. Isn't that what pilots say when they're about to crash? Well, I don't, that's not my favorite part to crash. It's braking. Yes. Well, I'm I'm, I'm bracing yes, and this I'm gonna, time. I shouldn't have warned you. you sh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I didn't want to get into a full panic stop there, but it, it did lock up pretty, well, not lock up, it's ABS, but it did hauled this from 65 down pretty quickly and Nathan was bracing so it wasn't really as much fun as usual. My <laughs> <laughs> lips went right in my mouth if it was stopping so fast. It's safe to say that the buying public's love affair of crossovers shows no sign of abating anytime soon, so you have to admire VW for staying the course and positioning the Arteon as the brand's flagship vehicle in the U.S. This is also the spiritual successor to the, the departed CC sedan. The first look is long, followed by a second one of nearly equal length. It's part automobile, part sculpture. It has a classic fastback design. The roof line slopes downward and merges seamlessly with the back, conveying style and performance. There are five trim levels on the Arteon. The SE starts at 35,845. The SE with four motion starts at 37,645. The SEL with four motion starts at 41,795. The SEL R line with four motion starts at 43,560. And the SEL Premium R line with four motion, which is what we have here, starts at 46,210. Now, the R line design has the available R line package. It adds a large helping of style and swagger to a car that already has plenty of both. Features include 19 or 20 inch alloy wheels, R line bumpers with high gloss black accents. Now this vehicle is propelled with a 2 liter turbo 16 valve engine producing 268 horsepower, 258 pound foot of torque. And it has an 8 speed automatic transmission that's good for 22 city, 31 highway, and 23 combined. You'll see on the front end there are LED headlights, LED daytime running lights, and there is an adaptive front lighting system. There is automatic post-collision brake system, electronic stability, anti-slip regulation, and electronic differential lock, and engine brake assist. You do have a power tilt sliding panoramic sunroof, and uh, depending on the trim level package, uh, the available choice for the wheels, like I said, is 18, 19, or 20 inch wheels. There is also four motion automatic all wheel drive. Now it does have an independent suspension with McPherson struts up front and independent suspension uh, with wishbone and steering arm in the back. There is power assisted dual circuit, 13.4 vented disc up front and 12.2 solid rear disc rotors. 
Now the alloy wheels are 8.5 J by 19 with all season tires at 245.40 R19 96H. Now there is a rear view camera system and we took some pictures of that. We'll show you, it pops out right here uh, as the VW emblem, you push that in to actually open the rear hatch, but as you put it in reverse, the little uh, uh, emblem will tilt and the camera will pop out. And like I said, we'll show you that. Uh, there are seven stability enhancing systems on this vehicle. You also see LED headlights. There's a hands-free easy, easy open trunk or rear lift gate. And inside the cargo capacity is 27.2 cubic feet. This vehicle rides on a wheelbase of 111.9 inches, has a length 191.4 inches, overall width 73.7 inches, height a low 56.5 inches, its overall curb weight 3,854 pounds, has a 17.43 gallon fuel tank and the turning circle is 39 feet. One of the styling features I really do like about this new car, and Volkswagen has done it, as well as the parent company, or excuse me, Volkswagen is the parent company, but as well as the sibling company, Audi, uh, on their trim lines here, on their styling lines, they've gone with a nice crease that you see here. So it's not a subtle line like a lot of the manufacturers have that just subtly blend in in a way, even where they do typically try to blend it, it is a nice pinched crease. And I really do like that. Now on this car, you do have the sensor, Nathan's inside right now with the engine running, but you do have the sensor on the um, handles here to open, to lock and unlock the vehicle. You do have the uh, outside turn signals. And I'm sure Nathan will show you too, but you've got, you can see from the inside, the turn signal has a little LED light there. And then on the inside here, and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get that, but this area here lights up when you have someone in your blind spot uh, in an amber color to warn you that someone is there. I like the cut line along the bottom, right above the chrome piece there, right at the bottom sill. I like that for the aerodynamics and they've also carried that chrome piece around the back. I like that as well. You know, this is a five door hatch. So uh, by doing that, you do have the nice chrome scuff plate out back to keep uh, from scratching up the, uh, the paint on the bumper. And you do see the chrome trim there and you do see the outlets uh, for the, the chrome outlets for the exhaust. Nice integrated high mount stoplight very thin very trim but it looks nice i'm going to pop this open now i'll show you just easily push in and it would open but i think nathan might have the door lock so i'll have to check on that and show you i like the little lip spoiler on there too again the led tail lights I like the chrome trim this has the large uh, sunroof as well and then you've got the leds here around the headlights that's cool the driving lights and a blade i like that and this has that r-line grill special grill with the chrome strips there the one thing that i think is missing though is um, no fog lights no fog lights down below i do like the turn signals integrated there with the yellow that's really cool as well overall very nicely done design and I will say too, I did notice this earlier. You see the hood in the middle is, it is, it is you know, it does have a little bit of a bend to it. Uh, definitely side to side, but front to rear, yes. But most cars, you'll see a hint of a little center line. You don't see that at all in this car. You do have the cut lines on the outside, the two cut lines to give the hood some strength and rigidity. Uh, one thing you'll see too, uh, we'll take some pictures of that, is when the hood is open, it opens all the way down here right above the wheel well and it's a clamshell type look i'll show you that and one cool feature i really do want to show you and i'll get a picture of that is because this hood line is so low in order to meet the uh, pedestrian safety regulations the hood actually has a couple of uh, pyrotechnic uh, type of chargers uh, cylinders on each side to where if the sensors are able to sense that you're going to uh, run into a pedestrian, then uh, because the hood is so low, it sits right on top of the engine cover, those pyrotechnic uh, cylinders will actually fire and raise the hood 
uh, I, I don't have the exact amount of, of uh, inches, but it will raise the hood enough to where a pedestrian, if they were to land or get struck by the car and land on the hood, it will raise the hood sufficiently to allow the hood to crater and crumple a little bit to kind of soften the blow of a pedestrian. Uh, instead of it laying flat on the uh, top of the engine as it does right now. So that's kind of cool. It will raise the, it'll raise the hood up enough to protect the pedestrian. But in, in other times, it's uh, low, low uh, cut hood and low design and very swoopy design. And that's kind of cool. It's one way to meet the standards requirements for the pedestrian safety, but it's also the ability to uh, give you that uh, low hood and sculptured look that uh, they're really pushing with this Arteon. All right, and stepping into the 2019 Arteon. Uh, we start with the door here. We've got a little bit of uh, carbon fiber looking trim up here. And we've got uh, sort of a satin chrome handles for the doors. You're unlocking the lock buttons here. This does have a 12 speaker, 700 watt stereo system, which will kind of blow you right out of the car. It's awesome. Uh, down here, you've got your mirror controls. Of course, they are heated. And then your auto up and down for all four windows. Okay, you got your trunk release down here. And then one of the kind of neat things that we don't see very often here is this side of the uh, storage compartment. It's felt lined. Now, the outside right here is not right on the inside that's just plastic but where you would typically rub your hand is felt lined okay you do have the nice uh, little uh, sort of a satiny chrome strip for the R line here that's an added thing for the R line you do have two speak three speakers in the door so you got one two and three coming down here because it's the R line you do have uh, different pedals um, that are mounted here for your brake and accelerator and your footrest. This is the front hood release. Over here you've got, here you have your light controls. This does have auto lights for high beam and low beam. Okay? Or you do have a manual control for them as well. That chrome uh, carbon fiber look continues all the way across the dashboard. Makes for a nice look. On the driver's seat, this is a um, it's 12-way power, so you have a 1 and a 2 and then a 3 and a 4 and then a 5 and a 6, 7 and 8, 9, 10, and then a lumbar 12, 11 and 12. This does have two-position memory, and then it also has a massaging function in the back, right here, this part of the seat here. So it's sort of a slow uh, pulsating here. You can make some adjustments to the massaging seat, which uh, happen right here. How far up and down your back it goes and that kind of stuff. Um, so it does have some adjustments you can make, but it's nice to have that feature on the car. The seats themselves are really nice. They're like a perforated uh, black leather. And I, I believe, I'd have to double check here, but I believe they're, it's Napa leather. I do like the, the, the two different kinds of, uh, you have a white stitching, and then you have the gray tubing that goes around the seat, which I like. I like that. You do have the white stitching on the steering wheel, which looks nice and sporty. Down here, you have a little felt-lined um, storage, a little cubby storage there. All right, and of course on the steering wheel controls, you have your standard sort of a cruise control uh, settings over here along with volume and then your distance and gap setting for your cruise control. This does have adaptive cruise control. Then over here on the right you've got your voice command and then these buttons here operate your driver's information system which uh, I'll show you a little bit of later. Uh, but it's uh, very much the same as the Atlas that we did and so if you look down for the infotainment video on the Atlas it'll be pretty much the exact same thing. Um, you can take a look at there. So I'm not going to go into a lot of detail. Um, this does have paddle shifters back here. Yeah, minus and a plus. There we go. Where's my camera? There we go. All right. And if I move on over here. Okay, so the start stop button is actually down here on the uh, center console, which I preferred up here, but there's not a lot of room up there to put it. So here we go. Fire in the hole. 
So it's an all digital cockpit here. It's VW's digital cockpit. It's very, very nice. Uh, and then, um, so we'll come, that, we'll come back to that in a little bit. Over here, you have a couple of physical buttons. You've got your uh, uh, parking sensors and the camera. This does come with a 360 degree camera, which I just think is really, really awesome. Okay, you do have a park assist up here. This will actually help you do a 90 degree or a parallel park. It will run the steering wheel. It'll sense the, the, the depth of the parking area to make sure you have enough room to park. You'll have to run the throttle and the brake and the gears. But uh, usually those systems work really well. Hazards, of course, over here. And then, of course, your passenger airbag notification, whether it's on or off. Moving on down here, we've got the infotainment system. You do have only two physical buttons. You've got the power and, and then a volume. Okay, and then you've got uh, another one here that will help scroll through things. Okay. Uh, otherwise, you've got radio, media, phone, voice, navigation, apps, uh, something, whatever's on your car here. And that's what we saw earlier in the video. Okay. And then, of course, just the main menu. Now, this does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well as Mirror Link, which will allow you to connect a phone that's not Apple or uh, Android based. And um, so we won't go into too much detail there because I've done that already on the Atlas. Um, but very nice system. Again, it's a, a 700 watts, 12 speakers. So it's really nice sound. Okay. Down here, you got your tri-zone temperature control. So you can see the digital display for the temperature. You've got your heated seats here. You've got your cooled seats for both sides here. And then, you know, just your standard defroster and uh, recirculatory buttons. Down here, you do have your uh, max um, defroster button here. You've got a regular defroster. You've got temperature control. Okay. And then, of course, auto. Um, and I, I like it when they put the sync button right up with here. I know we looked at some cars where the sync button actually had to be found in the infotainment center but this is really nice it's right here so if you unsync it you can you know or you change the temperature because it doesn't matter if the sync button's pressed the passenger can change your temperature but as soon as you want it to match the drivers you just hit sync and they both match all right underneath here you've got a nice rubber storage it's like a non-slip surface this will can be removed to clean Hey, moving down here to the shifter. The shifter has a traditional um, button, push button at the front that you have to push to, uh, to shift. Okay, and the way um, that the shifter works, you come straight down. If you want to go into manual shifting, you need to push it over to your right. Most vehicles go to your left to do that, and then you just do plus and minus. And then to get it back to park, you just bring it back here, push the lever in, and all the way up. This does give you several different driving modes. So if we look up here, we're going to see that we have sport, a custom mode, which you can go in and program, economy mode, comfort mode, and normal mode. In addition to that, it does have an auto start stop feature, which can be turned off physically right here. It just lights up when it's off. And if you're, if you're actually, if you're in the car without the seatbelt on and the car is running, the auto stop won't work automatically. Uh, you have to have your seatbelt on for that to work. Heated steering wheel button here, a USB plug in here for your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto or Mirror Link, and then there's a bunch of blank buttons, which I I, I don't like. This is a, a top of the line car, and, and really you'd expect to see, you know, something down here, or or maybe remove them. Or maybe make it a little different piece of trim piece that would be kind of nice. Um, being a button guy, I hate seating empty spots, and, and so maybe uh, maybe just a different finish there, or a different piece there, and move this button over or something. Um, but anyways, it, it has a nice look. Um, 
Uh, I just wish that the, the, the dummy buttons were actually real buttons. All right, doing down here, you've got an electronic parking brake, which you just pull up to activate, and then you push down to deactivate. Okay, uh, over here, we do have a couple cup holders, and there's another neat feature here I want to show you. Let me remove some things from here. Okay, so there's a cup holder. You might say, ooh, that's a little crowded. It is. Uh, however, the armrest, as you can see, has been extended. So if I just put my hand here and just kind of force it backwards, now it's closed all the way, and the cup holder is readily available. You do have a nice little storage here, along with a, a, a 12 volt outlet here. And then inside, the, you've got another USB and a 3.5 millimeter audio jack, and then some st small storage at the bottom. It's deep. It's deep. Um, I do. It might be nicer to have a little bit lighter color uh, cloth there. You can't really see the bottom very well, um, but it's it'll be adequate for uh, cell phones and pencils and uh, uh, whatever else you might have. All right. So over here, you got the glove compartment, right. and over here you do have a CD player hidden in the dashboard for the. Uh, audio system. You have two SD card slots you can load music on. This one is full. This is the, uh, this would be, I believe, the navigation SD card. So you would have basically one SD card slot um, that you could use for media. And then uh, over here you've got uh, what appears to be a lockout button. Okay, and Put that back. The, uh, the of course, the passenger's door. Whoops. Passenger's door is uh, just a replica of the driver's side. Again, three speakers, uh, satin chrome handles, a little bit of uh, carbon fiber-looking trim on the doors, and then a felt line storage in the bottom, which is a really nice touch. Up here, I am going to uh, give me one second here. I got to turn off. Well, maybe not yet. Okay. Uh, on the, the mirror here is a uh, standard mirror. It does have um, an auto dimming feature on it, but it's not a digital mirror. Hey, you got your lights here. I do like the layout that they've done. This is one solid, smooth piece of glass. All right, so these buttons all up here just have to do with your light controls, your LED lights in here. This one is your uh, power open and close. There it goes. And then here's your, you know, your emergency buttons if you need help. Um, all right. The, the uh, visors are lit. The lights are up above, which is different for me. I've not really seen that. But they are LED. And the nice thing is if you get to close your mirror, as you go up, they go off. Okay. So I'll just close that back up again. They are tilting and telescoping as well. It will pull the passenger one down. A little easier to show you there. All right. And uh, you got nice soft touch materials up in here and pretty much everywhere. Um, you do have a manual um, tilt and telescoping wheel, which is found down here. There's the lever right there. Hey, let's uh, hop in the back and take a look at it. Sipping into the back of the Arteon here, we got the same uh, carbon fiber look uh, trim right here. You've got the, the same kind of satin chrome handle. You do have two speakers in the door. Okay, and again, you've got the felt lined pocket here, and even in the back. Okay, uh, you do the um, door trim that uh, continues over here with sort of the satiny chrome finish. And then you've got dual uh, pockets in the back of the seats. Huh? All right, so one of the things uh, uh, back here in the art town that's really noticeable is the immense amount of legroom. Okay, so right here, I, I've, I must have uh, eight inches of space. This is where the seat was left, the driver's seat was left when I was up there, and I had plenty of room. I wasn't crowded at all. Um, Rob sees a little bit further back. Than mine was, but even so, it's only about uh, an inch or two, so you'd have a you know a good four inches of space. 
Um, so plenty of room. Headroom wise, I've got lots, lots of room up here. My, yeah, I have a couple inches. So very, very comfortable. The seats feel good. Um, they're that same sort of a Napa leather finish, and um, yeah, I mean, there's there's nothing nothing uncomfortable about the back here. It does feel very spacious. And if I pull this down, uh, you do have your cup holder here with a kind of a through passage. Uh, I'm not really sure what that's for, unless it's a Dixie cup, but I'm guessing it's just cut in there so if someone wants to lay their cell phone in there or something or an iPad, they can. Hey, and then you've got, of course, your pass-through right here, which works best if you have everything up. So... There we go. There's our pass through. So here we are with the, in the back of the RTN with the uh, tri zone climate control. So what you do have here is you do have um, your digital readout for your temperature as well as uh, a cold button to make things cooler and a heat button to make things hotter. Um, what you don't have, of course, is any other control. You don't have a, a, a fan a fan speed. You do have an opening here that you can open, you know, vents you can open or close. Uh, but the fan speed it will be uh, regulated from up front, and then you do have you have the awesome three-level heated rear seats, which I think are a fantastic addition to any car. And then lastly, in addition to that, if you pull this up, you do have um, a 12-volt outlet. So no USB is back here. You want to make sure you have a plug-in of some sort uh, that'll plug in from a 12-volt and come out as USBs. All right. And there we go on the very spacious rear seat of the 2019 Arteon. Hello, folks. Today I'm Rob. And I'm Beyonce. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a lucky guy I am, man. <laughs> this is J Lo. <laughs> You've changed a little bit. An independent suspension uh, with wishbone and steering arm in the back.